15 U.S. Code 1602 Definitions and Rules of Construction A through Z. Some of these I'm going to be reading twice and um, some of them I'm going to have to break up in sections to make sure that you and I both understand. So we'll start with A. The definitions and rules of construction set forth in this section are applicable for the purposes of this subchapter. B, Bureau. The term Bureau means the Bureau of Consumer Financial Protection. C, the term Board refers to the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. D, the term Organization means a corporation, government, or other governmental subdivision or agency, trust, estate, partnership, cooperative or association. The term person means a natural person or an organization. The term organization means a corporation, government or governmental subdivision or agency, trust, estate, partnership, cooperative or association. The term person means a natural person or an organization. F the term credit means the right granted by a creditor to a debtor to defer payment of debt or to incur debt and defer its payment. I'm going to read this in sections. The term, this is G. The term creditor refers only to a person who won both. Sorry. G, the term creditor refers only to a person who both one regularly extends consumer credit, which is payable by agreement in more than four installments or for which the payment of a finance charge is or may be required. G, the term creditor refers only to a per person who both one regularly extends whether in connection with loans sales of property services or otherwise consumer credit which is payable by agreement in more than four installments or for which the payment of a finance charge is or may be required and two is the person to whom the debt arising from the consumer credit transaction is initially payable on the face of the evidence of indebtedness or if there is no such evidence of indebtedness by agreement. Okay, I'll read that again. It's the person to whom the debt arising from the consumer credit transaction is initially payable on the face of the evidence of indebtedness or if there is no such evidence of indebtedness by agreement. Notwithstanding the preceding sentence, in the case of an open-end credit plan involving a credit card, the card issuer, and any person who honors the credit card and offers a discount, which is a finance charge, are creditors. For the purposes of the requirements imposed under Part D of this subchapter and sections 1637A, 5, 6, 7, B1, B2, B3, B8, and B10, those are all related to open-end consumer credit plans. We'll get to that. The term creditor shall also include card issuers, whether or not the amount due is payable by agreement in more than four installments or the payment of a finance charge is or may be required. And the Bureau shall, by regulation, apply these requirements to such card issuers to the extent appropriate, even though the requirements are, by their terms, applicable only to creditors offering open-end 
credit plans. Any person who originates two or more mortgages referred to in this subsection AA, referred to in subsection AA in any 12 month period or any person who originates one or more such mortgages through a mortgage bro broker shall be considered to be a creditor for purposes of this subchapter. The term creditor includes a private educational lender, as that term is defined in section 1650 of this title for purposes of this subchapter. So uh, section 1650 is preventing unfair, deceptive, and private educational lending practices and eliminating conflict of interest. Now, if you would like me to go further into G and break that down more, let me know in the comments. Okay, we're going to move on to H. The term credit sale refers to any sale in which the seller is a creditor. The term includes any contract in the form of a bailment or lease if the bailee or lessee contracts to pay as compensation for use of some or for use of some substantially equivalent to or in excess of the aggregate value of the property and services involved and it is agreed that the bailey or lessee will become or for no other or a nominal consideration has the option to become the owner of a property upon full compliance with his obligations under the contract. The adjective consumer used within reference to a credit transaction characterizes the transaction as one in which the party to whom credit is offered or extended is a natural person. And the money, property, or services which are the subject of the transaction are primarily for personal, family, or household purposes. The terms open-end credit plan and open-end consumer credit plan mean a plan under which the creditor reasonably contemplates repeated transactions. We have to go into this definition of contemplate since it's not in here. Contemplate, legal definition. To spend time thinking about a possible future action or event. To be able to think about something or imagine something, especially some event that may have, usually negative, consequences. The parties to the contract did not contemplate or foresee the cause of destruction. Okay. J. The terms open end credit plan and open end consumer credit plan mean a plan under which the creditor reasonably contemplates repeated transaction, which prescribe the terms of such transactions and which provides for a finance charge which may be computed from time to time on the outstanding unpaid balance. A credit plan or open-end consumer credit plan which is an open-end credit plan or open-end consumer credit plan within the meaning of the preceding sentence is an open-end credit plan or open-end consumer credit plan even if the credit information is verified from time to time. Okay, the term adequate notice as used in section 1643 of this title, liability, means a printed notice to a cardholder which is set forth in the pertinent facts which excuse me I'll start over K 
the term adequate notice as used in section 1643 of this title means a printed notice to a cardholder which sets forth the pertinent facts clearly and conspicuously so that a person against whom it is to operate could reasonably be expected to have noticed it and understood its meaning. Such notice may be given to a cardholder by printing the notice on any credit card or on each periodic statement of account issued to the cardholder or by any other means reasonably assuring the receipt thereof by the cardholder. I, the term credit card means any card, plate, coupon, book, or any credit device existing for the purpose of obtaining money, property, labor, or services on credit. That was L, not I, M. The term accepted credit card means any credit card which the cardholder has requested and received or has signed or has used or authorized another to use for the purpose of obtaining money, property, labor, or services on credit. And the term cardholder means any person to whom a credit card is issued or any person who has agreed with the card issuer to pay obligations arising from the issuance of a credit card to another person. Cardholder means any person to whom a credit card is issued or any person who has agreed with the card issuer to pay obligations arising from the issuance of a credit card to another person. The term card issuer means any person who issues a credit card or the agent of such person with respect to such card. P, the term author, unauthorized use. The term unauthorized use as used in section 1, 1643 of this title means a use of credit card by a person other than the cardholder who does not have actual implied or apparent authority for such use and from which the cardholder receives no benefit. That is very important. I'll read it again. The term unauthorized use means a use of a credit card by a person other than the cardholder who does not have actual implied or apparent authority for such use from which the cardholder receives no benefit. Q, the term discount as used in section 1666 F of this title means a reduction made from the regular price. The term discount as used in section 1666 F shall not mean a surcharge. 1666 F is inducements to cardholders by sellers of cash, cash discounts for payments by cash check or similar means finance charge for sales transactions involving sales involving cash discounts. The term surcharge as used in this section and section 1666F hmm, are the term surcharge as used in this section and section 1666F means any means of increasing the regular price to a cardholder which is not imposed upon customers by paying cash, check, or similar means. S, the term state refers to any state, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, 
the District of Columbia, and any territory or possession of the United States. The term, let's see if that's different, that's the same. The term agricultural purposes includes the production, harvest, exhibition, marketing, transportation, processing, or manu manufacture of agricultural products by a natural person who cultivates, plants, propagates, or nurture those agricultural products, including but not limited to the acquisition of farmland, real property with a farm resident, and personal property and services used primarily in farming. The term agricultural products includes agricultural, horticultural, viticultural, and dairy products, live, livestock, wildlife, poultry, bees, forest products, fish, and shellfish, and any products thereof, including processed and manufactured products and any and all products raised or produced on farms and any processed or manufactured products thereof. V, the term material disclosures mean the disclosure as required by this chapter of the annual percentage rate, the method of determining the finance charge and the balance upon which a finance charge will be imposed, the amount of the finance charge to be financed, the amount of the finance charge, the total payments, the number and amount of payments, the due dates or period of payment scheduled to repay the indebtedness, and the disclosures required by 1639A of this title. Disclosures, requirements for certain mortgages. We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. W, the term dwelling means a residential structure or a mobile home which contains one to four family housing units or individual units of condominiums or cooperatives. X, the term residential mortgage transaction means a transaction in which a mortgage, deed of trust, purchase money security interest arising under an installment sales contract or equivalent consensual security interest is created or retained against the consumer's dwelling to finance the acquisition or initial construction of such dwelling. Why? As used in this section and section 1666F of this title, the term regular price means the tag or posted price for the property or service if a single price is tagged or posted or if the price charged for the properties or service when payment is made by the use of an open and credit plan or a credit card. If either one, no price is tagged or posted or two, two prices are tagged or posted, one of which is charged when payment is made by use of an open and credit plan or a credit card in the other when payment is made by use of cash, check, or similar means. For the purposes of this definition, payment by check draft or other negotiable instrument, which may result in the debiting of an open and credit plan or a credit, ca a credit card holder's open and credit account shall not be considered payment made by use of the plan or account. Z, any reference to any requirement imposed under this subchapter or any provision thereof includes reference to the regulations of the Bureau under this subchapter or the provision thereof in question. 